everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Sylvia with Silver Pine Kiko Goats. So anyways, on today's video, you guys will get to see the building process of Santiago the Buck's new pen. So his other pen before was pretty small. It was just temporary. I wasn't planning on having it be permanent. And it was just inside of the dough pen. So anyways, stay tuned for the building process of this pen. I'll show you how I'm building it and do a time lapse um, whole project of this buck pen. Um, I did build it over about a month's time, so some of this footage is from about a month ago. But you'll get to see that whole process, all the parts and pieces put together to build this new pen that's right here behind me. And um, you'll also get to enjoy some little updates here and there on the goats. <laughs> has escaped. It looks like Divine got out of the electric fence, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the goats and make sure that they aren't escaping. Divine, did you jump over? Huh, you're naughty. Yeah. I'm not too worried about it though because she's just sticking around with the rest of the goats. Um, when it would become a problem is if all the other goats also learned how to get out. So for now it's fine. I'll just keep an eye on things. Hello, goaties. Are you getting wet? We've got a little bit of rain going and it looks like the girls are done grazing for today. So I'm just going to bring them back up to their pen. But as I mentioned earlier, the voltage is pretty low and I'm not quite sure how to get the voltage up. So I'm just kind of using the fence as it is, and it's still doing really, really well. So that's all right that Divine got out. Everybody's doing good. I'm just going to bring these girls back up to their pen now. saw the other day how Divine got out. Now look. Oh boy. Clyde is out. Way over there. And Divine is out. I don't think you can see her, but she's up there nibbling blackberry bushes. So I have a bit of a problem on my hands. 
Um, nothing too bad yet because Luna and Kiko and Primrose are still staying in. So that's good. And these girls aren't causing any trouble being outside of their electric fence yet. They're not going over to the neighbor's house or eating the plants around our house that they're not supposed to. So luckily nothing too bad, but I gotta solve this problem of keeping these girls in. Um, so I'm gonna head down here and see if I can figure out where they're getting out. There is a low spot on the fence that they could be getting out from. They jump over, but I'm really surprised that Calliope got over. I know Divine can jump pretty high, but Calliope's getting out, that means that everyone could potentially get out, so. I'm just gonna come down here and see what's going on. Okay, I think I see what the trouble is. I think, so sometimes my fence battery will just come unplugged, the clip will come off of the battery. So I think that's part of what happened. And also the lid slid off right into the fence. So that could be taking off some of my voltage. Although actually the fence is still on. So that hasn't changed. Although the voltage is still low, I haven't been able to get the voltage up. And part, part of it being low is probably because this is on a hill. And um, it's hard to get all of the sides from not touching the ground. So there's a couple of places where there's a little bit of grass touching. So that could be the issue there. It just kind of depends on where you put it. But we live on a big hill and there's hills everywhere. So... Um, there's not really any flat spots to put their fence to have them graze. So this is just what I got to do, and it works. Man, Luna and Kiko, they are constantly fighting. How come? These two are cousins, so they're supposed to be nice to each other. But anyways, hopefully these three don't get out. Primrose is being so good back there. And none of these girls are jumping over the fence. They're all just chilling in their fence, um, doing a good job grazing while Divine and Calliope are way up on the hill over there, just kind of doing their thing. So let me know if you have any ideas how I can keep all the goats in this fence <laughs> down in the comments below. And I will try and figure out this mystery. I'm pretty sure they're just jumping over. Um, but I haven't seen any of them get out. So who knows. They could have crawled under. Um, there's a spot right there. Where the bottom of the fence isn't touching the ground. So there's a little bit of space down there. That they could have potentially crawled through. So. Yeah let me know what you think. <laughs> And, um, hopefully I'll be able to figure out something to keep all the goats in their fence. Well, the buck pen is finally finished. So I'm super happy I finally got it done. Um, I had to really hurry up because um, the buck needs to move in here soon because something is coming up where he will need this bigger pen. So I won't spoil the surprise for you guys yet. You'll be able to hear about that in the next video. Um, I'm gonna give you a tour of the pen. Um, ignore this 
funny looking gate here. This is just temporary until I get a nice metal gate on. Also, the pen is a little bit skewwampus. I'm not a pro fence builder. So, I just did my best. It was on a hillside too, so that made it difficult. But yeah, I'm just gonna give you a walk around. It's got lots of good space for him. So I think Santiago is really gonna like this new pen. Um, let me see if I can come in here and show you guys a little more. But so the gate will be right here. Then we'll walk in. He's got a good view of his ladies, so he won't get lonely. And he's just chilling in here for now until I bring him in here. Buddy, your new palace is finished. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think he's really going to like it, though. So here's the back side. And then that'll just go up and over this way. So yeah, there's lots of trees in here, lots of brows. It's just a really good place. I'm really happy how it turned out. I'll probably have to do some reinforcements on the T-posts, but I just had to get it done today, as I was saying before. So it's finished. And now it's ready to hold some goats. Now let me stick Santiago in here and we'll see how he likes his new pen. We're going into your new palace. Let's go. Oh, don't be stubborn. Come on. You're okay. Here you go. All right, well Santiago is officially in his new pen and he's already enjoying it. As you can see, um, it was a little tough to get him over here because he didn't want to leave his ladies, but now he can actually be closer <laughs> to them. So I think he's gonna really, he's really gonna like this place. Um, I'm pretty happy how the pen turned out, even if it is a little bit ski wampus. I think it's gonna work good for it. So I'm just gonna secure this lock. Um, again, this is just temporary. <laughs> And then I'll leave Santiago to do his thing. We'll see how he likes it. Alright, there we go. Check out this beautiful gate. Um, I'm definitely going to have a lot nicer gate. Just like the, the dough pen gate, I'm going to have one of those pretty similar to that right here um, in the near future. For now, I'm just ready to get this pen up and going for Santiago and uh, for the surprise that's coming in the next video. But anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.